Welcome to part three of Santorini. That's right, where the church bells ring and the elite dresses flow. Santorini is an Aegean island incredibly famous for being one of the most popular destinations in Europe. Volcanic beaches, mesmerizing sunsets, blue domes, great food, and wine are just some of the things you'll experience while you're there. Santorini is one of the 200 plus major islands of Greece. There are over 6,000 if you count the smaller ones. It is the largest and southernmost of the Cyclades and a small group of volcanic islands totaling about 35 miles. Santorini is what remains of a caldera, which is a crater formed by a volcanic eruption filled with seawater. It has erupted many times in history, including a major eruption in 1600 BC. That is what's most likely led to the downfall of the Minoan civilization on Crete. There are about 15,500 people that live permanently on Santorini. Although over 2 million tourists visit Santorini annually, that doesn't even include the cruise ship visitors. 90% of Santorini's economy is based on tourism. Buildings in Santorini and other cyclotic islands weren't traditionally painted white and blue. People started whitewashing the stone buildings in the late 1930s after a chloria epidemic in Greece. The trend stuck with blue and other colors added to roofs and windows. Blue and white ladder became the norm, matching the colors of the Greek flag. There are around 450 churches on Santorini. According to a local saying, there are more churches than houses, there are more donkeys than people, and there is more wine than there is water. The Three Bells of Fiera are officially known as the Catholic Church of the Dorminian. It is a Greek Catholic Church on the island of Santorini, and it's known for its blue dome and three bells and views. This building is located in the town of Fiera, directly above the cliffs which dominate western Santorini. The views of Oya and Fiera are breathtaking. You'll find exquisite shops and magnificent views as you wander through the cobblestone alleys. There are about 1,000 to 1,500 weddings held in Santorini every year. Santorino also has about 70 historic windmills. Next, you can enjoy the narration of our Grecian friend as we take a ride up to the winery. It is uh, inhabited all the year, especially in the winter. Pilo. Population about 1,100. The name is Carterados. And uh, they have a school, many, many churches, and the hospital. And this is a beautiful alley, or Eucalyptus alley, with, uh, from Australia. So on the left side, the village Carterados and face to face the Naipuri island Anafi. Anafi, a beautiful yes. island. You can visit uh, one day, one day excursion. So start at a uh, uh, boat in the morning, 10 o'clock. You are 12 o'clock in Anafi and 5 o'clock you come back again to Santorini, 7 o'clock you are here. This one day excursion. 
You can make uh, many excursions one day from here like Hirazia, Anafi and Eos. So this is now the pistachio trees, very dry because it was extremely hot the summer. And on the left side, so shopping center here, a school for languages because uh, we have some private school to learn uh, languages, English, French, German, Italy. And on the right side, the markets, the shopping center here, uh, pizzeria, bakery, patisserie on the left side. So this is the village Carterados. There is the beer from Santorini. Yes, they make over there beer, local beer, so blue monkeys. It's a very lovely, delicious beer, blue monkeys. So blue monkeys, this is a wall painting from Akrotiri, and so they give uh, the name from the wall painting Akrotiri, the beer, blue monkeys extremely high here in Santorini, in Oya, about 30 euros per square meter, here about 5,000 euros per square meter. The price is extremely expensive and the license to build a new building is extremely high, so although we have many, many new buildings everywhere. So face to face, the highest peak on the island, the monastery on the top, the Greek Orthodox Monastery, 580 meter high, ideal place for pictures, and down the village from Pilbos. And face to face on the right side, the Sando Winery. Sando Winery was founded from 1,000 local farmers from Pilbos to taste all the guests, the local products like wine, like uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, fava, pistachio, so it is a shopping inside, you can buy so many, many local products. So today, take the opportunity to taste three sorts of wine. The red, the white, and the vinzando. And on the right side, you can see the best, the beautiful Honeyman Suites on the right side. These white buildings, it's the famous Honeyman Suites, and down is a temple to merit. Several weddings every day took place there, and then they stay for one week, ten days uh, there. So many, many couples in love from China, Japan, America, Europe, from all the world. It is a lovely place to marry. It. So you can see now Oya on the right side, northwest part, and southeast part, the other side, Akrotiri. Uh, Santorini is not so big. It is not so a big island. It's only 36 kilometers. The biggest island in the Cyclonic is Naxos, 414 kilometers. The second, Eos, 380. Third Paros, 314, and Santorini, the little Barbie, only 36. After about 15 minutes on the bus, we finally arrived at Santo Wine Winery. Santo Wines was founded in his initial form in 1911. Its former name was Santorini Vine and Wine Protection Fund. Today, it consists of the largest organization of the island representing all of the cultivators and about 1,200 active members. Santos Wines maintains a privately owned organic vineyard from which the single variety organic wines are produced. The Wine Tourism Center with its exquisite location at the village of Pygros offers a breathtaking view of the caldera. 
It is one of the top wine tourism destinations, welcoming more than 600,000 visitors from all over the world a year. Santorini is home to indigenous grape varieties such as Acertico, Atheri, and Adiani. These varieties have adapted to the island's volcanic soil and produce wines with distinct mineral and citrus notes. The winery does offer a bunch of different wines you could try. You also have your olives, your cheeses, and your breads. I'm not a big wine drinker, but I did enjoy their wine. I hope you enjoyed this video on Santorini today. One of the most spectacular places that I've ever been. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And remember, it's up to you to make it fun and make it yours. We'll see you the next time.